we have a guest with us as it's half term. Yep, I am right. An exciting thing. Oh, my broom's going everywhere. Yay! We just look so pretty together. So we have everybody that's taking part on the front. I got April, so I did little. I never wanted to do this if I wasn't 100% happy and everything about this project I am thrilled about. Hi guys, welcome back to a studio vlog. We have a guest with us as it's half term. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> my name's Luca. This is Luca. And if you have watched my vlogs since I started them, Luca was only three months old when I started these vlogs. He's now, how old are you now, Luca? Tell four. everybody how old you are. Four. You're four. Yeah. Yeah, you are. I'm nearly, it's nearly my birthday. Right, okay. So I didn't do a video last week. Last week was a very challenging week. A lot of personal things were happening and Picking up a camera just wasn't on my, it wasn't on the to-do list last week, but I'm back, I'm feeling good, and it's half term week, so I'm very limited with any work that I can get done this week, but I thought, what about documenting that? Because there'll be so many people that watch these videos that also have children that are in school <laughs> and trying to juggle half term. Um, well, it's, it's new to me, this is my first half term. So yeah, I thought I would just start recording and let people know that it's okay to not get all of your jobs done while the kiddies are at home. But we can today pack some orders and you're gonna help me, aren't you? Okay. You wanna help me pack them? I have orders to pack and in last week's video, I was very open and honest and spoke about the uncertainty of right now for small businesses and your comments were amazing, your support was incredible. I told you that I set a massive goal for October of 150 sales and I think I was at 20 something by the time like when I did the last video which was actually like two weeks ago for me. I've just hit the halfway point. I'm at seven, I think I'm at 76 as of this morning. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for your love and your support. But I have orders to pack. I'm gonna get this guy involved in helping me. So that's kind of one of my first tips I would have for you. Well, the first tip I have is don't put too much pressure on yourself during half term week. You're not gonna get everything done. So don't beat yourself up about it. I like to give myself like one task a day to get done. And if I accomplish that, that's great. Any more is um, a bonus. That's my first tip. My second tip is get the kids involved. <laughs> kids want to be involved. They want to be part of it. And Luca is going to help me pack some orders, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> and now that Luca can write his name, which he's doing here in front of me, um, I might get him to sign some thank you cards as well. So it's just, it's fun to get the kids involved where you can. <laughs> I know it's difficult. I think I'm going to go live on Instagram and pack them. I will probably catch up with you later on today because it's just me and Luca until very late tonight. So I'm sure we'll get up to some more things later on. That's beautiful, babe. Is that letter? Why? Yes. I've got so much to tell you. Uh, we've announced our candle collaboration like we did it all on instagram live last night um i want to tell you more about it and actually luca is loving this project <laughs> so we'll probably come and chat to you later on i've got new things arriving i have washi tape arriving from china hopefully tomorrow i haven't been given a tracking link yet but um usually it comes in just a couple of days so i'm hoping that comes tomorrow which i can talk to you about so yeah, welcome. Let's get into it. We're gonna go pack some orders and we'll be back with you in a bit. What's this letter? What's this tricky one? S. Oh. No. G. Yeah. What's this tricky one? <laughs> no, n. Oh, is that a n? Sorry, I'm so sorry. This one is a tricky one. What have we done? Oh, I, I haven't done this letter. Which I, one? We have done in that class. It's right there. Right, we need those. We need that.
What's, what's this letter? That's a M. No, M. Oh, sorry, M. <laughs> You're right. You are right. Yep, I am right. So you keep losing. If you keep losing some letters, I'll get you a million pounds. Oh, that would be wonderful. Well needed. Thank you. Right, are you coming to help me? Uh, you just do this order. Do your order. What are you doing these orders with me? Got orders to pack over here. Hello, stranger. It's been a couple of days since I talked to you. Turns out trying to get work done with a child is near impossible so i packed orders that day uh, not much more i got done to be honest with you it's been a struggle i won't lie it's been a struggle and actually this week has completely changed in what i was going to do the plan today was i was driving to norwich today to go and see Gemma, who i'm working on the candles with i still need to talk to you about that there's been a slight delay with something i'm gonna chat to you about it which means i'm not going to norwich today i'm here and I'd already sorted out childcare for Luca today, so I'm on my own. <laughs> However, an exciting thing has arrived. So although it's sad I'm not able to go and see Gemma today, it's exciting because I get to open this, which, oh, my brew's going everywhere. Hang on, let me move that. Let's just clean up the mess. Okay, let's try again, shall we? This box from China has just arrived and this has washi tape in it. Washi tape! Washi has been out of stock for a year, maybe even longer than that. Uh, this washi tape originally was done in 2021 and I just never restocked it. I kind of put my focus more on pins, um, but I keep getting messages saying, is washi coming back? Because I kind of had it on the website still just saying out of stock for like a year. <laughs> so yeah, I should maybe should maybe restock that. I'm, I'm, I'm talking because I'm trying to open this box and I'm really struggling. Oh, there we go. Ripped it up. So I have five designs of washi. One of them, the lilac one uh, from the fairy tale collection is in stock because I have loads of that. But all the others have been out of stock and they have now been restocked. Yay! <laughs> so what's exciting is it's older designs, but I've had new packaging put on them, like new updated packaging. So that's the problem I had, the old designs. I think I still have one somewhere. Had the old sticker on, like my old illustration. So it felt really weird selling it because I was like, hmm, oh, it doesn't really match. Now everything's gonna match. So what we've got, we have the starry gradient. I will get these out so you can see them properly. Hedgehogs are back. We have the white fairy tale washi. This one, my dare to dream big one, I actually have changed it. Please don't be mad at me. So these washi tapes were actually a secret project we did on Patreon back in 2021. My patrons designed the full design of it. But when I was doing the restock, um, I thought the original to this washi tape was lilac and silver. Some of you will prefer lilac and silver and you'll love that color, color combination. But my whole brand is lilac and gold. I am absolutely in love with that combination. Um, to me, it feels that's what Emily Harvey Art is, is lilac and gold. Um, so when I did the restock of the Dare to Dream Big, I decided to go the same design, but with gold foil instead. And hopefully you agree that having something that feels more me is better. Do you know what I mean? So that's the Dare to Dream Big. So what I'm gonna do, let me just get it all out. And then I'll show you the new kind of label I had put on them. It's actually the same as the, the fairy tale one that I had last year. So this is the sticker that's on them all now. Um, these older designs have been updated. They are still wrapped in plastic. I hate that they're wrapped in plastic and just know that it's, a goal of mine to have them without any plastic on them. I would have done it for this, but to do like a box, them in a box, which is ideally what you want really, um, 
the minimum order I couldn't meet meet it so um, please don't hate on <laughs> small businesses that are really trying um, but are big due to funds just can't can't do the the eco packaging for everything like everything I have um, I do I do either no packaging um, or like biodegradable and things this is the one item that sadly I can't do just yet but if these sell well I haven't ordered many but if they sell well I can order bigger quantities and I can do the better packaging so I have all of these four designs in the shop now again and the other exciting thing I do need to check but I think I've been able to bring the price down <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> in a time where prices are going up the price of these is coming down my friends so I need to just double check but yeah I think I got a better quote this time and I was able to buy these at a better price which means you get to buy them at a better price so I'll leave a link below go and check them out all five washi tapes that I have made are in stock so I need to if you watched last week's vlog you'll know I organised all my shelves because I knew these were coming and I cleared out these tubs so I'm going to decant I'm going to decant and I actually don't have enough did I say this in last week's vlog? I need to go and buy another one which is so much effort to go to Ikea just to get a pink tub so maybe that needs to wait until I need to actually go to Ikea for more things uh, but we'll decant what we can so let's do it <laughs> wasn't going to be necessarily a great day because I was feeling sad <laughs> that I couldn't drive to see Gemma but it's actually turned into a lovely day and I've actually took off the packaging on them just to see how they'll look and I also need to like make content with them today. They just look so pretty together and I'm actually really glad that I updated it with gold because they all match now and um I just think they're beautiful. I don't need to photo, oh, I do need to, no I don't. I don't need to photograph these two because these are just the same. So I can just make that listing, like say they're in stock and they're fine. These three, however, need new pictures because uh, the picture's really old. It shows old packaging. And obviously I've updated the foil on the Dare to Dream Big one. So I do need to update the pictures. And as normal, the, the lighting in here is shocking. So um, I'm gonna do my best uh, to take some pictures, but I really wanna get them up today. So I'm gonna do what I can. I'm also gonna film a reel because people don't know they're coming back. Like I haven't really spoken about it. I know I've spoken about it on here, but I'm hoping people are excited to have them back. I get messages about them all the time, especially like the hedgehog one, which is so different to all the others, but people love it. So uh, hopefully that's a nice little thing I can share on Instagram today. The other thing I need to sit and talk to you about is this new candle collection. So um, I really wanted Luca to be here because he's absolutely loving this. Uh, I did an Instagram live with Gemma the other day. Um, I'll kind of put on the screen a little bit, but Luca came on that. Um, it wasn't planned that he was coming on that but he um he loved it so I want to share with you what is happening me and Gemma from Birdsy Bella's Air are doing a candle collaboration for Christmas if you want to hear like the history and the story please go and watch that Instagram live um it was absolutely fab and I'll not be able to do it justice on my own we decided we wanted to do a collaboration together we talked about it being a Christmas one and it just everything aligned with that and um, it's ready it, it will be going live in about two weeks time when you're watching this 
So what I can tell you is it's going live at eHeart's Market Weekend, which is the weekend of the 10th till the 12th of November. We're doing um, candle sets. So it's a set of three candles. I don't have a finished candle to hand. I can show you this tin <laughs> because this is a sample. They are this size. Although Gemma's doing all of the candle making side of it, I'm doing all the graphics, the illustration side of it. I've done some really lovely illustrations. I'm really proud of them that are going around the outside on the top. And the plan was that those labels were being delivered today to Gemma's house. I was gonna drive down. We were gonna put stickers on all the candles, but there's been a delay with the stickers being made. Being made so they're not being delivered today. So I was just like, there's no point in me coming down. Although it would be lovely to see her again. <laughs> um, I need to go, if I'm gonna drive all that way, it needs to be to be pro productive. So as soon as those stickers arrive and Gemma is available, I will be driving down and I will take a camera with me. But um, what we have announced are the three scents. So we really wanted to tell a story with the scents um, and they are inspired by my Christmas decorations that I've done in the past. So we had a look at them. I did an ice skate, I did a hug in a mug and I did um, a Christmas wreath. And we've used those as inspiration for the three scents. So if you aren't following us on Instagram, please do because this morning, in fact, we shared a teaser for the first one. Um, and in the Instagram live we did, we talked about all the scents. I have the scents here because um, I just smell them constantly. Gemma is so much better explaining uh, like what the actual scent is. Okay, that's not the right one. <laughs> Let's find the first one. Yeah. Okay, oh, it smells so good. So the first scent in the collection is called All Wrapped Up. The idea behind this is you are maybe in like a town square, you're watching the Christmas lights being turned on, there's people around, it's cold, it's crisp. You see the lights turn on, there's an ice skating rink there and you're putting on your ice skates and you're gonna just skate with your family under the Christmas twinkly lights and just all of that being all wrapped up um, is the inspiration behind <sighs> scent number one. It's heaven. There's a whole story behind this scent and how it was one of my favourites of all the ones I smell, but I didn't know if it was right for this collection. We put it to one side. I kept coming back to it and it was decided that it, it, it had such a react, I had such a reaction to it that it had to be part of the collection. So that's all wrapped up. Um, and like I said, I've done all the illustrations for it. It's so beautiful. The second one in the collection is inspired by my hug in a mug decoration. I'm get, you know where this is going. This is our hug in a mug candle and it's the most decadent, delicious chocolate scent. Oh, it's so heaven. Um, this is Luca's favorite. He wants to smell it every single morning when he wakes up. It's rich, delicious gorgeousness. So the idea is you've been on the ice skating rink, you've watched the Christmas lights be turned on and you are then gonna go and head to grab a hot chocolate. You're gonna grab a hot chocolate with its marshmallows and you're gonna enjoy it again under the twinkly lights with your family. That is the inspiration behind scent number two. And then the final one, inspired by the Christmas wreath, um, you've had your hug in a mug, <laughs> you've been ice skating, it's now time to head home. So you're heading home and this one is your classic Christmas smell. It's it's just delicious. <laughs> How you want your house to smell at Christmas is this one. And I even said on the Instagram Live that the inspiration behind the, the name for it, because it was hard to give it a name. Um, mine and my mum's favourite Christmas song is Driving Home for Christmas by Chris Rea. I put that song on and it makes me think of my mum. It makes me think of being a kid. And just everything special about Christmas is wrapped up in that one song. And so... Um, the name of the candle is Home for Christmas and that it just sums it all up like it's just and hopefully you can see now a lot of people have asked if they're available separately we're doing them as a set of three because we really want you to experience all three I'm so excited about it I love the illustrations I'm really happy with them I never wanted to do this if I wasn't 100% happy and everything about this project I am thrilled about and to do it with Gemma as well who's such a wonderful person 
and makes gorgeous things like I open her candles on my vlogs all the time her candles are in every room of my house so it just feels like the perfect collaboration to be doing so I will share with you kind of as we get closer to it there's about two weeks all I can say is please join my mailing list join Gemma's mailing list um when they go live I will be sharing there first to let you know and they are super limited we're doing 50 sets that's it we hope it goes really well I just can't wait so as soon as I travel to Norwich and I have an actual candle in my hand with a sticker on I will share it with you but until then I have to smell the scents out of a bottle <laughs> so I feel like I've just talked at you for ages I'm gonna go away and kind of figure out what I'm doing with these get them live and then I have all day on my own which is so nice <laughs> so I'm gonna use it very very wisely and I'll be back with you in a bit I have photographed everything I've done a reel the photographs actually look okay with a bit of photoshop magic we've managed to pull it off and I actually uh, redid the two that I said that didn't need pictures because I just wanted them all to match so hopefully when you go on the website now you'll see they all look really nice um I've done a reel I've shared it on Instagram and we'll just see what happens hopefully fingers crossed um people are excited by washi tape that's back i've also had an exciting message from uh my other chinese manufacturers about all of my decorations all of the pins that are being made there's 11 items i'm currently having made with my pin manufacturer three of them are not mine the work I've done for another company so that means that there's eight designs that are mine but the new decoration two of the other decorations being redone I have an exclusive pin for magical market and then a restock of ice skates pin the gloves pin hugging a mug pin the wand pin that's everything. All of those things I'm waiting on. I got a message this morning with pictures of everything. That's the, I can't really see, but that's the exclusive pin for the market. We've got the ice skate decorations finished, the hugging a mug decorations finished. Like they're all done and they've sent me pictures and said that they're finished. So that's really exciting. Um, it means that they're going to arrive next week early next week so i'm still waiting on the new decoration i don't know if i've told you it all went wrong don't understand how it went wrong because like i've just shown you they're making remaking two of the decorations and then they know they're a set <laughs> like it, this has been discussed many times the new one they just did in a completely different glitter and although it was nice it wasn't I just couldn't like I they match they have to match uh so they have to be remade which I'm grateful for I'm grateful that they're remaking them but they also understand just how special these are to me I don't know what went wrong <laughs> so I certainly didn't ask for that glitter but it's fine so those are being remade and they're going to take a bit longer and I would love to take them to Magical Market but they're not going to be here in time so bear with me in terms of decorations. I'm desperate to put them up on the website because I know so many of you want them, but I don't think it's fair to the people that have pre-ordered the new one to do that. So I'm just gonna wait till I have them all and release them all. Please cross your fingers that they arrive, I don't know, in time for eHarts Market. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? So yeah, so that's put a smile on my face I'm, I'm very excited now seeing the washi seeing the pins like everything it's all gonna come together fingers crossed <laughs> anyway it's now five past twelve and I've kind of been at it uh since the morning so I'm gonna go and eat 
and then I'm gonna have a plan of what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I would really like to do some drawing today. I have a massive to-do list. <laughs> but I'm just, I wanna draw. I'm in a happy mood, so I'm gonna draw. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> So sorry my battery died yesterday as I was drawing so I couldn't come back to talk to you and this camera takes ages to charge so I just left it and thought we'll come back to it tomorrow and end the vlog but I've had things delivered quite a few things delivered so I thought we'd do a little haul at the end of the video I hope you don't mind I have opened everything I haven't looked inside because if you know from the start of this vlog it took forever to open that box didn't it the first thing I have received is a kickstarter that I backed from Nula at Lacuna Moon. The note that I got is stunning. So Nula, if you're watching this, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, back to this Kickstarter. I think this was maybe while I was away, while I was having my month off and um, like a few people messaged me and said, Nula's doing a Kickstarter. So I backed it. I have this little sticker. I pledged for three washi tapes and these are the three that I got. They're super cozy really lovely autumnal designs i will leave nula lacuna moon's details below if you want to check those out thank you so much the next thing i have is another purchase which has just arrived this morning which is perfect timing and it's from pentada designs so i was very very kindly asked to be part of Lauren's new um, calendar for next year. I was asked to do this back in the summer. Yeah, I got to illustrate a month of this calendar. Uh, I am April. I, oh, I'm actually a picture of me on the back of the thing. That's really nice. And you can go and grab a calendar now. Oh my gosh, that's super soft. So we have everybody that's taking part on the front. I won't like spoil the surprise, but there's some gorgeous things in there. And then this one is my month i got april so i did little easter bunny so yeah i will leave details below of where you can get one i think i have like a special code you can use thank you so much lauren for sending this to me i did pre-order one so that's why i've been sent one um and you can get one for 2024 too those are the things i've actually like purchased i then have two things that have been sent so the first one has been sat in here for ages and i'm so sorry to colette who sent this to me and I just obviously didn't film last week so um this is by crafted by colette emily i'm so delighted to send you my first ever pr package i hope you enjoy the goodies inside and share them online i have a code i will put it on the screen so it was all in little bags so i've just opened it all up we have a little sticker set which is cute actually do you know what they'd be perfect for luca is really into stickers at the minute so anytime he does something and i praise him for doing it he says can i have a sticker <laughs> they'd be perfect we have a little ghosty key ring that's really cute we have this little pin luca would absolutely love this speaking of luca she's also put in this little bag that says for luca i heard he likes minecraft he's not here right now so i can't get his reaction but i can tell you he will absolutely love those stickers so thank you so much i'll go and pass them to him this afternoon and then the final thing is this it says please forgive my traveling condition open me up and fluff me out and i'll be just fine all sort of compact into here but if we break into it oh wow that's so clever little knitted knitted friend how cute is that <laughs> i'll pop that on my desk next to my little uh crocheted octopus so that is everything from colette crafted by colette thank you so much like i said i will leave all the details below for where you can get all of that gorgeous stuff and then the final thing has come from my friend emma and i haven't looked in it yet hi emily i just wanted to send a few bits to say thank you so much for being a guest on my podcast i tried to raid my lilac products also i hope to make you smile after a rough week last week i hope you and luca have a good afternoon week love emma so this is from emma from what was plan inspire create 
which is now Sunshine Lane. I hope I've got that right. We've had a bit of a name switch, but um, Emma's a gem. <laughs> Absolute gem. She invited me on her podcast over on Patreon, which was a great episode. I sometimes get really terrified and she made me feel um, really welcome. So thank you so much. Uh, last week I had a really rough week. A few tears were shed last week and she was someone that reached out to check I was okay and she was probably the only one I felt comfortable enough to have a little cry to. So uh, apologies Emma for that crying voice note I left you but I I just think you're amazing so I'm so excited to look in here and see what gorgeous things. Firstly you did not need to send me anything. So we have some stickers. Hello gorgeous. I actually have the pin of this and some positive pants. I actually have the pin of this one as well. <laughs> Nothing in life is permanent. Oh, it's a little rubber. How good is that? Oh my gosh, I just got an order. That was nice. Um, it's a little rubber and it says on there, nothing in life is permanent. And it has a little, I absolutely adore that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will leave Emma's details below. Um, she was planning to buy a crate. She's now Sunshine Lane. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for spending this week with me. I thought it was going to be more about juggling work this week. And I've actually had so much help from my mum this week, which has meant that I have been able to get work done this half term. So I'm really grateful. I understand that everyone has that. So um, just be kind to yourself if you're trying to juggle looking after the kids and getting some work done. I'm going to go. Next week is going to be the, a busy week. Insanely busy as I count down to going to Birmingham for the magical market. I have things to prep. I have to figure out how to like organise a table while in this tiny room. So if you're not subscribed, please do come back next week for another video. Um, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. Bye guys.